What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me as always are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? Up? Guys, as you can see, we're here again with another uh, Lemony Snicket's uh, series of unfortunate events. Yes. Review slash recap slash whatever the hell we do here. And uh, this one is the, the third set of episodes entitled The Wide Window. Uh, How yeah. wide is that window? Oh, so Uh-oh. wide. So wide. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, Don't get dirty, boys. What were they about, Mikey? Uh, well, a little synopsis here. We have on episode five of The Wide Window, it says, after escaping Count Olaf again and the Baudelaire's go to live with their superstitious Aunt Josephine. Part two is the Baudelaire's are stunned to find Aunt Josephine's suicide note, but quickly find everything about the circumstances highly suspicious. Suspicious. That's what we got. Suspicious. Okay, so part one and two. It's so crazy doing these things as part one. The fact that it's like part one and two. But yeah, episodes five and six. Um, But uh, all right, so I mean, I'll start off by saying overall. Um. I enjoyed I enjoyed these. This this had a lot of funny yeah. a lot of funny moments in it and um a lot of dry humor. A lot of dry humor. Uh, you know it's it's very similar with seeing this humor throughout every episode so far. It's very similar. But he's getting, I mean, he's last get, episode was real blunt humor. The first episode was dry humor. This is so. and this one's like this one is that obvious like it's that tongue in cheek. This one this had a lot yeah. of tongue in cheek humor. This was a lot of uh you know the whole when they introduce Captain Sham, and they're all the, the henchmen. They're, they're all standing back there, and they're all talking. Man, she's like, oh, "I've I've heard your name everywhere." <laughs> they're just like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, it had some really funny moments though. Like, uh, you could tell he just has a fun time playing this character, Neil Patrick Harris. He just, yeah. and it and it comes across that way. And it's such a dumb, silly character, and it's so blatant. Like you mentioned before, Mike, plenty of times. It's like a it's a live action cartoon and. You know, the whole thing, like, the sea is my home. Lake. Yeah. Lake. Big yeah. lake. He's always making that thing. He's got a peg leg from a broom handle, but he's very candid about it. He's like, it's a... I, she's like, how, how did you make that happen or something? He's like, it's a it's a half a broom handle, you know? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of things. It was just a lot... It was a lot of funny stuff. The kids, a lot of, a lot of uh, Sunny stuff, a lot of funny things with Sunny. She mm-hmm. had a lot more dialogue. Dialogue. <laughs> dialogue. Yeah. This, uh, it was funny when Josephine know. questioned. What did she say? She said some kind of baby word. You know, oh, obviously that's not even English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she kept like, saying the grammar. I yeah. forgot exactly what she said, but yeah. you know, she kept. Questioning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was it? She said like "goo" or something like that. She's like, yeah. "I don't know what you said, but that's not even right." That's yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So we got a couple. We got Who's a, a good actor. Other... What's the name? Do we have a Alfred name? Woodard? Alfred Woodard, yeah. Yeah, she was. I mean, obviously, I seen her on. You know, I seen her. I think in a lot of commercials. She but, does a lot of um, stuff. Um, what, Luke Cage. Who did she play again? She played um, the his sister. Um, yeah, Cottonmouth uh, sister. What what uh, what was her name? Uh, Black Mariah. She, yeah, Black yeah. Mariah. She played Black Mariah. She plays a lot of stuff. Yeah, but yeah. so this is her second. At, at, as far as I know, her second Netflix series, which is pretty cool. Second. Hey, I guess they like Luke her, Cage. You know? Second or third, I mean. What, yeah. was she, I don't know what else she was in, but yeah. So, um, so that so that's obviously a new character. Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, another the new taxi character, driver. The taxi driver. Uh, I don't think we have his name, but uh, he was a pretty funny dude. He was just well, the waiter also the waiter. Well, that's what I was gonna say next is is yeah. the waiter, Ed, Pete. I think it was Ed. I think it was Ed. Uh, um. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know. But, but the, thing, the minor characters always trip us up. <laughs> they do. Well, I think I we'll mean, see more of him. You know, from what well, I got, you know, he obviously is, knew of Josephine. The thing and is, with him, the family. The, with him, it's like he, uh, that because he's a he's um he's, he's like an, an insider or something. Yeah, he's a part so, I mean, of their this is what I wanted to ask you guys. Or something. Yeah, yeah. This is what I wanted to ask you guys about this. Like, okay, so okay, so at one point he says to him, they talk about Lemony Snicket, and he's like. Is it Lemony Snicket dead? He's like, oh wait, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I don't. I don't care. Yeah, and, Olaf was questioning it, right? Yeah, and he's like, like well, he was afraid of him. Well, this is well, well, the guy, uh, we'll call him Ed right now. I'm trying to look for his name and I can't seem to find it. Um, uh, 
they say is it Phil? No. The waiter. They, he, he, oh, say, he says um he talks about the organization. So whatever organization this is in, yeah. Olaf was a part of. And seems or to have Or he was the enemy that they were possibly always no, no, going no, after think, or something. No, I think he was a part of this because he talked to him as if they he was a part and he said we found the ki- the children I, I can't remember the words ver- verbatim but the children have a uh show a lot of um you know special their abilities parents, or, or whatever yeah, right yeah. you know what i'm saying for you know um and they can start their training he said or something like that and it's like oh shit so this it, to me it seemed like and jesse you can confirm or deny this but it yeah. seemed like that it was an organization where they did good but olaf seemed to have you know and then don't forget olaf was with the parents and the uncle and he was a part of this group you know um and they show that picture well he uh, was in the picture or no I, jesse he took the picture of them in the piano no no no. the picture in this one where he gets well, the picture seen of all of Josephine them Josephine and the family and in front family. of the sawmill was he in that i don't i kind of believe so i'd have right? to look but yeah i'd have to but anyway play, so but the tried... thing is you guys you guys are relatively close to what's going on here without knowing much about the story at all well, well, that's the thing. So, and, and this is this is what's fun for us. Well, anyway, they they gave you hints of it. They gave yeah, you hints well, that there's a past history that that um you know they, they, I kind I I took it like like um Olaf Larry by the way was Larry, Larry was the, okay yeah all right so I took it as if Olaf was like their enemy, you know what I mean? But possibly knew. You know the way to Larry and and Josephine. Well, I think and, he uh, became. I think he became their enemy. That's what I think. What you happened. think? All right. I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean, well, I'm sure Jesse <laughs> we do know, <laughs> but I mean, you and I don't know. Jesse yeah. and, and and everyone else out there who 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 you know. But uh, yeah. So you got Larry and and. I will um, answer this. That's not answered this season. <laughs> probably not. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but that's fine though because well, uh, based on when it happens in the books, definitely okay. not. All right. So. Um, but look, we got two two more after this, and then and then we'll see. So I don't know. I, I, so there's so those are the two major the two main new characters that they throw mm-hmm. in here, and plus the taxi driver, which is pretty cool. I liked all his little thing. He's like, and and I've had the, and I was having this conversation, and he's always talking. Was it like literature? And he's like, he's yeah. got these like these big brain ideas, and he's comparing like you know uh, you know. No, oh, what are your thoughts and, on this? Yeah, you know yeah. so. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. He sticks his head out the stupid thing, and he's just like, "Everyone looking for a recently priced uh, ride or something." A recently like, priced ride, yeah. I mean, it was really, especially with the, the with the Damascus, uh, the Damocles dock, when he's sitting there trying to say when Poe is trying to say the name, and he's just saying and and Lemony Snicket's in the foreground talking, and he's just, I love, I love it. It feels like I don't know when they shot these, if they shot them in order or not, but. These two episodes really felt like they're hitting a stride with with like their timing, the editing, the jokes. Like, it, yeah. I just really, really enjoyed the setting. Was like dark. The visual, yeah, the visual. And... Um, the, I mean, obviously, there's some real effects. There's real cars, real. But I'm sure they use a lot of visual effects oh, somehow yeah, through yeah. computers. Yeah. But yeah. it's just. Um, how about how about just this just reminded me. How about in the beginning with the newscast? Oh, oh my Did God! And now we go to now we go to um Vincent. Uh, now we go to Vincent, is, and, and Vincent the is the girl. Goes back to Veronica. <laughs> I, I just it, it was great. Was, it was just great, you yeah. know. Just the humor is good. The visual effects of 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 the um of our of Josephine's home, I thought yeah. was really cool. How it's uh, leaning. Uh, yeah, how everything is crooked. Mm-hmm. You see the cracks in the wall. It's just visually, this show is really, uh, it's it's really it's stunning. Uh, it looks good. Stunning, yeah. I, it's, it's definitely cool. I liked um, going back to the newscast, like when Lemony Snicket's at the board and he's just chucking yeah. the ma- magnetic things. Like it's yeah. just, it's just funny. Like it's just, mm-hmm. you, it's like, I Patrick don't know. Warburton was born for that part. Oh yeah, like, it was so he, great. He's perfect yeah. in it. No, you he's know, very I good. have a, I have a theory. I have a theory that I'll, I'll give you guys towards the end. Um, but uh, what about? Um, I mean, it was just, it was just so many things. I, w- I wanted to talk about. I wanted to go back to Josephine for a second and talk about her psychosis and, and yeah. like, and again, another joke where she's like, "All you need is right here," and she leans on the the safe and she keeps talking and she's like, "Here," and she pulls out another rack and you're like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Like yeah. it was like it was just great. Like these jokes were like, and I don't know how they played out in the book, but visually, 
I'm sure they had a lot of fun with coming with making these jokes visual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but again, the man, thing like, is, some of the stuff is taken directly from the pictures in the book. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So is it? Isn't it? Is it like? Is it like? Jess, is it like cool to like be like? Oh yeah. It's this very is- weird to see these abstract like pictures that I haven't seen in like ten years. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Popping true. up, and it's like. Oh yeah, I remember that in the book. Page number seventy nine on book number three, right there on the left hand yeah. side, you got the yeah. yeah. It's yeah. weird. It, like you don't remember it until you see it in the show. Right. Yep. No, it's yep. cool, man. I, 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 like I said, I mean, there was just, I mean, there were just so many different things. Like, and yeah, a lot of it is tongue in cheek. Like, yeah, they ask for something, they get it, but it's cool, you know. Like, the, like the parents happen to be flying over at the end. They're flying over at the exact moment that they. That's need what's that light keeping the... me really. That's what's keeping me really um, involved in in wanting to see more from the show because um, I do. I, I have enjoyed these first six, but um, I I think we spoke about it last last episode, last discussion. How um, will this humor uh, get you know a little stale and? I mean, I can see it being repetitive in a way because it just seems like, all right, the kids go to this new home, they go to this new caretaker, and then, you know, Olaf is there. And I mean, as even though um, Neil Patrick Harris does a great job with his characters and and still is interesting, I I am holding out for the kids to to get in touch with their family somehow. And obviously, at the end of this episode, they they're going, the plane goes down or whatever. We don't know exactly what happens with them, but. That's what I'm. That's what's I'm, that I'm looking forward to is possibly a reunion. And you know, God, you know how I am with reunions, with Walking yeah, Dead, yeah, and yeah. all. I hate when everybody's separated and all this kind of stuff. And I guess it wouldn't make uh, much of a series if the parents just swooped in and took no, the kids. No, yeah, and, and, and there's, a, there's a there's a <laughs> bunch of books, so they have to go yeah, through them. But so I'm sure I I, I'm, I can see a lot of they're just there, yeah. but not enough yeah, well that's the whole that's that's where, the thing yeah and we see that in. we see that over yeah. and over and over but um it, it's definitely it's definitely an interesting show and it has gotten better for me from original when i just couldn't from stand the these one, yeah. poor kids yeah, yeah. you know yeah, speaking so. of, speaking of uh, about last week like going back to that and how we said there might be some you know that some of this stuff could get old so they did i mean they did replay some of that not replay but they did basically kind of rehash some of the same types of devices comedic devices but i'm gonna oh, say it's absolutely I, this, but yeah. i i found it i still like jesse you were saying they found ways to make it fresh and i did. I, I, I thought these two episodes were the funniest and, and like and like i watched it with my wife this time uh without the kids and we were like rolling like we were laughing like there were a lot of funny things like well i told you, know, you wolf camera with the, with the the scene that I thought was funny with Olaf's leg. With the baby the where, yeah, yeah, where Sonny run, And he just fell and his leg pops out. He's like, oh, my, it's a miracle or whatever. My, yeah, you know, yeah. my leg's back. But even yeah. that, even that when the, when the baby, like, like, like when the baby's holding on to the, when she's holding on to the doorknob when the house is oh, going down. Oh, what about your mouth? Yeah. The things when they just show the, the, the baby just quickly doing something, like, it's just, it's hilarious. It's a, it's a visual gag. You know, it, 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 it harkens back to, like, Old, you know, Three Stooges, man. You know, like it old is. slapstick. You know, Ch- even playful, Charlie Chaplin. You know, you know, yeah. It's a playful kind of. It's great. They have so many different and, things in there. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. So I don't think that the um, I don't think that it got old. I'll tell you what did get old was Josephine's some of her dialogue. I mean, the constant like grammar shit was like, especially when they were in the cave, right? And every time Very Sonny talked. Cheek. Yeah, but it but got a little much. That, I got a little that, much. It wouldn't decipher yeah. the note. No, no, no. But I'm even talking about it like after the note. And every time Sonny yeah. spoke, she's like, well, that wasn't grammat- grammatically correct either. And I'm like, okay, okay, we yeah. get it. Well, maybe and it'll she's play like, into something. In the ah, like constantly. But it was funny it was how was the funny, kids though. figured out how to trick her into getting their way. Like when she didn't want to leave the cave in the first place. Tells her the real estate agent. You know, he tells her, oh, you got to watch out. This place is for sale and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. those real estate agents and, yeah. you know. So it's it's funny how they know how to manipulate, and it's funny how the kids are the most intelligent characters on the show. Yeah, but um, you know what though? But they're not. But they're very humble about it, and they know that they've made mistakes. They know that they're kids, and they know that. But they know what they know, and I really enjoy that. I really enjoy that they didn't make them these smart aleck like, well, we know better than you. They're still like very frustrated. Like, I, I I'm frustrated trying to in the tell fact you... that sometimes people exactly yeah. that that's Count Olaf or whatever, and this possibly can, especially Poe. He's just 
super. He's he's you know, annoying, but at the same time, he's actually really the funny. Books. Yeah. Really, dude. The bet the funniest shit when he's just he'll be looking at you and he just coughs in your face. He's just like, like oh. yeah. and and they're all like he's like like when he does it in the restaurant he like like Olaf's it's like in his mouth. He's like oh, what like. It's just so, it's it's just yeah. really everyone is like I, in fact I want to watch those two again because they were just really there's just so many funny funny things in that like even when she's like she's like he's like limes limes I've got limes I'm selling limes she's like I leave limes she's like oh I need limes he's like I sell limes you know it's like yeah. just the little <laughs> things like that are just really funny yeah, no, it's, it's yeah it's definitely um it's definitely quirky it's definitely uh you know it's definitely like a fun kind of humor you know like this um outlandish kind of kind of humor but uh yeah i guess we'll see i'm kind of glad i didn't watch the whole thing yeah me too you know the whole series i, I, in I purposely didn't or in a couple days or in a purposely few days. didn't because i wanted to come yeah. here and i wanted to give some of my theories and just exactly. be like you know but jesse mike and i've really monopolized this time and i i want to i want to throw it to you and, and get your feedback on this man i was actually wanting to uh bring something to light that you guys haven't touched on yet mm -hmm. so the first episode you guys said was really dark and really lacking humor correct uh yeah weird. yeah Could, i think yeah, the humor weird. was drier not very dry right. yeah it was definitely dry i enjoyed it don't the get me wrong the second set of episodes we had it was more, more boisterous humor yeah it was a more situational type of thing yeah. But have you noticed that the situations are getting darker? Oh, well, I was actually I was going to mention that. I was going to mention the fact that this these two episodes were and this is something they do very well. They're very dire. They're very dire. Like he literally is hanging out of a window on a house that's about to collapse into the sea. You know what I mean? And that yeah. they're like literally she's on the map and she's going to fall. The baby's hanging on to like that is like, and these are children. Right, and but I think like, they have a. I think there's like a. I mean, I'm sure none of you guys thought that the kids were actually going to get hurt. Well, so it's no, like, it's a playful thing, and just like we said, it's 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 just like a cartoon. But that's be. my point. They've done yeah. it. They've set it up to a point where it's like Compared this is a very dark and scary situation. Episode. But we know that number one, we Somehow. obviously know they're going to. But we but and it's just but we we have like a built in sense of security yeah. with it but it's yeah. still like i was still like oh shit like you know when he flies out the window and, and she's hanging and they're hanging from the thing i was yeah. like oh my god and when it, it blows back and he's safe again and then it goes back down again i was like oh you got me you bastards yeah but yeah jessica yeah i mean i i i, I absolutely agree it's in and the tone and the setting totally helps this one they're yeah. in a hurricane the oh the the fit the the leeches at the end i was yeah. i didn't know how that was gonna Black play out most leeches yeah. yeah i didn't know how that was gonna play out and then at the very oh. end, he literally he in cold blood, or actually like Hill Candy Man says, uh, it was actually it was cold water. <laughs> yeah. Pushes her in. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, you see, we didn't seen see that we didn't happening. see Monty die. We saw his dead body, but we didn't. Yeah. She literally killed the woman in front of the kids. Yeah. Like that's like, huh? yeah. I can and only imagine what's to come. That's there. going to continue. Yeah, I just imagine it's going to get worse and worse yeah. and worse. And these kids, I mean. It's really it's, it's if you start off in an unfortunate event, there's only one way you can go without, you know, ending the books prematurely. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll see what happens now that they're on their way to the to the mill, you know, the sawmill. Yeah. Because obviously they escape, you know, after Josephine was pushed off, which I'm sure. Yeah. Captain, Captain Sham. Sham. And that was even funny when when this Poe was was talking and he's like, wait, wait. children, this and that. And meanwhile, they sneak off and then uh, he turns around. They're gone. And he's and like, well, he's, I'm going to go. Co and he's well, like, Captain Sham, you wait right here until I get the cops, and then yeah. he turns around, and, and then they're gone. My know? second favorite candy as a kid. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder what his first is now. It's just, it's just good, man. It's just really, it's just, it's enjoyable. It's definitely enjoyable. So something I liked that they played on was the kids' allergies to peppermint. Right, yeah. And it's that. mentioned in the books multiple times before this, and it's, I believe, mentioned in episodes... Uh, three and four mm -hmm. with Monty. Yeah, and you notice it with the books; it all comes full circle. So everything you're seeing now, just keep on to hold it. hold on to it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
you know, because the, um, it will come back. The, the fact that it's a series of unfortunate events. Okay, so the first, obviously, my first, you know, a dip into this world was the movie in 2004 with Jim Carrey. Um, but I never got that sense. Because when you're watching like an hour and a half, two hour movie, you're not really going to get this. You don't get the same sense of the fact that these are separate things happening, you know. And I think th I think it's a fantastic idea that they did this on on as a series and the way they're doing it and obviously who they got. Um, yeah. But I mean, you know, I mean, again, this is another situation we can just go on and on and on. I mean, I mean, I think I've said most of what I wanted to say. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else that you guys like some of your favorite stuff? I mean, again, I've, I've mentioned a bunch of mine. Uh yeah, what about you, Jess? What do you uh, think? So, if you haven't noticed by now, I like doing different kinds of voices. This is to the audience, of course. I do um, I do Krillin. I do Mr. Popo. I do I do a few other voices. Hank Hill. I sell propane, propane accessories. But Stefano and all that. I I love the voices, and yeah. it just it adds more to my repertoire. Like, cause. I go back and I think of something. I'm like, oh, well, you know what? Saying something in Captain Sham's voice is going to be really <laughs> funny. Just so, added Captain Sham to your repertoire, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I, I could be playing a game. And I'm like, oh, well, you know what? You got to crouch here and then you do that. It, it's like you just goes back and do it. And adding voices to your repertoire like that's kind of freaking fun. So this episode added a real great voice for me to imitate in my own way and manipulate. So that was my favorite part, the voice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what about you, Mikey? Yeah, no, I think I mentioned it, you know, obviously with the uh, with the whole peg leg thing with yeah. with uh Captain Sham and you know, I just like I just like the 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 um the way the children reacted with Josephine and how they were, you know, able to uh manipulate her in the way that they I have and just her, the cunningness. Yeah. Yeah. You know the cunningness and and um. But no malice, though. That's that's. Yeah, the, I think that's an like, important like thing. It's, getting... There's no malice. It's not like they're doing it to be like pieces of shit. They're doing they're, it no, to not no, only better themselves well, but to that person yeah. too. Yeah, like they're trying to get out of a situation, especially with the safe. Now safe for them crackers. to figure out the combination. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. It was so crackers sad. in the safe when they open it so up. So funny. I thought man. that was a cool scene too yeah. of them having to you know figure this whole situation yeah. out. You know. So, like I said, we'll see, you know, and I'm excited about to, to see what, what I happens. I don't know. I mean, so, so I mean, this. so like I said, wrapping this up here, but that mystery of who the hell are these people? Are they spies? I'm getting the sense that they're spies. They're yeah. So you've of... noticed the book, correct? Every time. Yeah, secret organizations. Yeah, and... but so, but that's all, but that's all we, it's a secret organization for yeah. what though? They've made Have codes, you noticed they... that libraries play an important part? Yeah, okay, but I, I there's feel always like a I'm, library I'm in still every place missing place. something. You no. mean the general, just the general fact that there's a library in every the the and kids' house had a magnificent book. library, right? Yeah, Justice Strauss has a library. Yeah, right. Count Olaf had a library. Right, Monty had a library. Um, Josephine, Josephine has, a has library. one. Right. Everywhere right. has a library, and there's a reason for this. Is all I'm going to say, and it. It's just it tying into the books. It's going to be a great reveal to you guys. Yeah. Is it revealed at all this season yet, or no? No. no. All right. <laughs> no. Just watch seven and eight. Damn it! I know. Right. Captain Sam oh, says. Captain yeah. Sam says, watch it. Watch the yeah. damn shows. Go dang it, Bobby! Says so watch on my the show and card. do it right. <laughs> yeah. Says it right there. My business card. Um. All right. Well, I think I think we've we've talked a bit enough about this. Um. Uh, guys, let us know what you think. If if you're liking this show, if you're liking, right. you know, what what are your favorite parts? What do you, what do you, what do you guys think? Just you know, we, we you know, you guys know what to do. You guys uh, will continue that conversation down there. Uh, before we leave, we do want to give you something special, like we have been. In case you didn't know, yep. we, our new friends, Comic Blitz, uh, they've got a special deal for you guys. So here it is. As per usual, we have our code Third Person Pod, three months, dollar a month. Total of three dollars for the three months. Simple as pie. So you get over forty five hundred comics to access at a whim. And and why wouldn't disposal. you do it? At your, yeah, disposal. Yeah, at your disposal. Get in there. On iOS, desktop, yeah. laptop, uh, iPad, uh, that's iOS. And soon coming to Android. Yep, it's in beta. It's so, coming to Android, so you can check out your comics on any device. You can download them. Yep. You can read them. You can catch up. You can get, get in your binge stuff. on. Get, yep, get get your a binge three on. Three month, a three Old month comics, binge. new comics, graphic novels, whatever you want. So yep. It's all there at your fingertips. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
So that's, that's it. comicblitz.com, promo code third person pod. Third person pod. Also, let's there. not forget of uh, the giveaway. We still have that giveaway going on for a few more days. Um, yes, definitely it is Saturday, definitely... 2.30 or 2 o'clock. 2, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we're, right? 2 o'clock first, afternoon. First right, of good. four giveaways for the month of February. So uh, right. make sure Q you. Figs. Q figs. So make sure you get in there. You want a Q fig? Go check out that video. Uh, Jesse, maybe you can put mm. the link in the description. Uh, I you will, know what? And it will be Saturday the 11th. Yeah. Huh? So guys, go check that out. Um, again, that's a thank you to everyone who supported us, and um, you know we've been been really uh, you know getting us out there, and that's great. So we want to get back to you guys. So um, that's it. We're done. Thank you for watching this. We've got one more video coming up for the end of this season one of this show. Um, and then, um, you know, uh, if you're watching this, when we put this out, Walking Dead's going to be coming up. So we got that. And if this is you watching this later, that, get, get on to Walking Dead stuff. We're getting on there. Okay. Um, and you guys check out other videos. And, uh, you know, again, I just want to thank you everyone for, for the support and all the comments and, and continuing the conversation. Down below Absolutely. We really love it and really like, you know, this community. So thank you guys very much. So with that, we will see you guys next time on Third Person. Thank you very much. That's a buy, I'll tell you what. Ha, 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 ha.